welcome to today's episode of CCTV, the place to be if you are trying to get more happy, healthy, and fit. I'm your girl, I'm Christina Carlisle. I'm a former frustrated fat girl, turned nutritionist, and a trainer here to help you reach your weight loss and wellness goals too. And in today's episode, I'm sharing with you different exercises that will help you engage your lower abs and help you add some definition down to the pooch area of your tummy. I've been getting a lot of requests for this. Ladies wanting to know exercises that you know target and will get rid of lower belly fat, and that's what today's video is about. But a few things um, before we get started with the exercises and the workout. Your abs are all one section. So the lower abs are just the lower portion of one muscle group. So the lower abs aren't exclusive and independent. A lot of people seem to think that, but that's not true. So the exercises today, primarily target the lower portion of this muscle group, but you're also going to be getting some um, engagement in the upper parts of your core too, which just gets you better results and helps you tighten everything up. Again, we're doing exercises that train the lower belly. We're not going to be spot reducing fat. That's impossible. So I want you to suck in your tummy real quick and engage and hold your core really tight and tone. You can feel like it gets more tight, that you have some, if you look in the mirror with your shirt up, you would have more engaged definition, right? The exercises we're doing today are designed to get you that tightness and that definition. But re regardless if you're sucking your stomach in or holding a contraction or not, the fat covering the muscles isn't going to go away unless you're following a complete meal plan and exercise training program, including both cardio and weight training exercises, preferably doing a full body split. So you can't do these ab exercises over and over and over again and see changes happening all over your body and you're not going to be able to get rid of the fat as effectively as you otherwise could if you were following a meal plan and complete training program. You absolutely can spot train the muscles with weight training exercises designed to engage them and tighten them so you'll get that definition which can help you lose some inches around your waistline. But if you want to lose that fat that's covering them, that's a meal th plan and a complete exercise training program. So I just want to make sure you understand that so you don't get frustrated and you can actually work towards the results you really want. So there are six different exercises in today's routine. You're gonna to wanna to do each one until you feel the burn. Because the lower abs are at the bottom of your ab, um, bottom of your abdominal muscle group, it's best to lift your legs up and down um, against gravity and move your hips at different directions because your abs are at a hinge joint, right? So you can't really move around in a circle the same way you could your arms. So when you train your arms, you can move up and down to the sides. Your abs are a little bit different. So the best way to make sure you engage them are to lift your legs and lift your hips backwards to target this area. Um, so that's exactly what you're gonna see in the different exercises in today's workout. We're gonna be using multi-directional movements designed to target this area exclusively, which is why it's so beneficial to you. So for the best results, you're gonna to wanna to do each one of the exercises in this workout until you feel the burn, and once you feel the burn, you wanna do five more, and then you go on to the next, and the next, and the next. The exercises are very strategic and put in order for a reason, so I recommend doing one full round to complete one set, and then do three full sets to complete your workout, and then you're done. For the best possible results, you'd want to do this workout at least three times a week in conjunction with your meal plan and your full body training routine. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into the exercise demos with you. I'm going to do one full round and then I'm going to come back to say goodbye.
So that was today's back fat workout. I hope you liked it. If you like it, please like it so I know. If you don't like it, leave me a comment to at, let me know how I can help you better. And if you don't want to miss next week's episode, please subscribe now because I make a new video every Thursday. And don't forget there is a link to the blog post below with more info and instructions and a Pinterest graphic so you can pin this workout to Pinterest and you can have it forever. All right, girl, I'll see you next week. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye.